In this video, let's look into how to install Raspberry Pi OS onto the Raspberry Pi SD card. This video is for those who want to freshly install or upgrade from older version of Raspbian. Currently, I have Raspbian Bullseye OS. I have tried to upgrade using RPI upgrade method to bump up the version, but there were so many issues to resolve in that method. So recommended approach for upgrading from older version of Raspbian is to freshly install the new OS using the current method I am going to show in this video. So the hardware prerequisites are SD card, SD card reader, a computer and Raspberry Pi with its power cable. And for the software of Raspberry Pi OS, we need to first download the Raspberry Pi Imager. So you can click on this it will download the Raspberry Pi Imager. So once it is downloaded, you can click on this and proceed with the setup. Now you have Raspberry Pi Imager. The next thing that you need to look is what are the different operating systems that are compatible with your Raspberry Pi. So if you see Raspberry Pi OS is compatible with all Raspberry Pi models and if you use 64 bit, it is only compatible with few and it is also having legacy and legacy 64 bit. So what we can do is we can use this Raspberry Pi OS, which is compatible with all the models. For this, what we can do is go to the image and insert your SD card. So now I'm trying to insert the SD card with the SD card reader. And now what we can do is choose a device. So my device is 3B and the operating system I want to put is Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. And the storage is yet to be detected. Now you can see it has detected. Now after this we can go to storage here and select the generic storage of 16 GB. Click on next. Would you like to apply OS customizations? Then you should click on yes. Edit settings. Set a host name and username password of the systems and Wi-Fi also I'll be using. So it is asking the country. local settings services we need to enable the ssh and click on save now we can click on yes so it will delete all existing data and we should do the continue Now you can see the Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit has been written to our USB device. Now before ejecting this drive, what you need to do is you need to create a file called SSH. So go to new and create a text document SSH and change this format. So what you can do is view file name extensions and edit this and rename to and remove the extension. So this file will enable us to create SSH connection while we are doing the putty connection. So now I'll try to eject. Now you can remove the SD card and insert into the Raspberry Pi. Now I'm trying to boot the Raspberry Pi by connecting it to USB and connect the Ethernet port. Now let's try to connect the putty and type Raspberry Pi dot local and click on open. And we need to accept. And now we can see the Raspberry Pi is connected. 
we need to give username password that we have set and we can check the version so we can see Raspbian bookworm is mentioned which is the latest version that we are trying to use now let's try to connect the VNC server and see the desktop so I'll type VNC server so it has given me different options to start the VNC so what I can do is I can simply use the service mode so I need to use this command so once the authentication is complete we can open VNC viewer and type raspberry pi dot local here and click on enter and it will ask you to continue so give the password username and you should be able to see the desktop so it has already connected to the Wi-Fi and you can open the command prompt so in the command prompt you can use if config and here in the WLAN you can see the IP address now I'll try to go to putty and try to load the 192.168.29.76 and open so immediately you can see even Wi-Fi based we are able to connect to the Raspberry Pi so this is the previous one we have seen using Ethernet and this is Wi-Fi that's all for today's video I hope this video was helpful if yes please type helpful in the comment section below your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this so please subscribe to the channel and like this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in another interesting video